Okay, in this video I'm going to do an unboxing of a power supply that I'm actually going to put into a case, a computer case, a tower that I found on the side of the road. Now, at the time of filming this, it's around Black Friday. It's actually Tuesday before Thanksgiving here in the United States. So there's some great deals that you can get online, and from Newegg they have a lot of great deals around this time. So they had this power supply, for, I think it's a 450 watt power supply, but I'll, when I actually open this up, I'll verify it. And it was actually $10 off, and it was for basically $18.99, I think. So a little under $19. Free shipping. I got this, and I just got it in the mail today. So without any further ado, let's open this up and see what's on the inside here. All right some paper packaging here. Alright. A couple things inside of here. Oh wow, I got uh, actually ground coffee sample. Interesting. Ho good coffee. Very cool. I'll try that out later. Alright, so I, that's very unexpected that I get a coffee sample when I bought a power supply for a computer. Anyway, this is it. It's an Orion power supply. And it's actually 485 watts maximum. So there's the back of it. You have your power switch here. It doesn't come with a cord, but I have a bunch of these computer cords that I'll just stick in there. Obviously, you have your fan here. On this side, you have nothing. On the top, you have nothing. On the back, you have another fan and some venting here. And on the bottom, you have nothing here. Let's pull this to the side. And let's just take this rubber band off. I'm just going to go over some of the connectors here that are on the device. You have your 20 pin plus 4, so this could work with a 20 pin motherboard or a 24 pin motherboard, and then you have your other 4 pin over there. And here are the connectors. Now, actually, the tower that I found on the side of the road did have a power supply, and it had a motherboard in it. Uh, it was an old Pentium 4, uh, and the power supply did not have any SATA connectors on it, so that's why I bought this. But you have, as you can see here, a couple of Molex. I think there's actually... Uh, let's get this undone here. Looks like there is three Molex. Three Molex and two SATAs. And uh, then you have this for a graphics card, this connector. And then you have this connector for like a floppy, a 3.5 inch floppy. So this will come in handy when I actually install it in that case that I found. And I actually have a spare motherboard, which is a dual core AMD processor. It's an older processor and motherboard. I'm going to install in there as well and see if I can fire it up. So let me go grab the case and install this in there. 